People are making snap judgments on whether they should listen to you speak or should they be doing this, checking their email. That's why the start of your presentation is so important. And a lot of my clients come to me, TJ, how do I start? I don't really, I feel awkward. Here's the problem. Most people start their speeches in a really boring way. They kind of shuffle up there. <clears throat> uh, good morning. My name is this. My title is this. I'm happy to be here today. Very important to have your head down and reading, I'm happy to be here today, because that way you'll seem even more insincere. Before I start today, let me tell you about the boring history of my company that you don't care about. And now let me tell you about all the cities that we have offices in that you don't care about because you're here in this city. That's how most people, uh, thank you for that wonderful introduction that I wrote. That's how most people start their presentations. And unfortunately, it comes across to the listener kind of like Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. It sounds like nothing. And the audience figures, well, this speaker hasn't really started yet. They haven't hopped in with anything of substance yet. So since I'm not on the front row, let me check my email. And the problem is, once they go here, they may never come back to you. Here's a foolproof way of starting your presentation. I guarantee you it's going to work. Here it is. You don't have to start with a joke. You don't have to start off with a wildly provocative statement like, oh, half of you are going to die of this horrible disease. It doesn't have to be sensationalistic. The only thing it has to be is interesting to the audience member. Talk about them rather than you. Well, yeah, but, 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 uh, TJ, don't I have to say good morning? And don't I have to thank the organizers? And don't I have to blah, blah, blah? No, you don't. Thank people in the middle of your presentation or near the end. Everyone's expecting it in your first two minutes. They're expecting you to be really boring. That's why you want to grab that opportunity to exceed expectations. Just hop right in. Now, here's what I do typically if I'm giving a speech, whether it's to 10 people, 50, 500, or 2,000 on presentation skills. I'll go around the room and talk to people. I'll get there half an hour early, and I'll talk to people, and I'll say, hi, what's your name? Jim. Jim, tell me, where are you comfortable, uncomfortable speaking? Well, TJ, I get uncomfortable speaking to large crowds, but I'm comfortable speaking one-on-one. -on -one. And I'll go around, and I'll get little snippets of conversations like that. So when I start my presentation, the first thing out of my mouth is, so why are we here? Jim Smithers said to me, TJ, I get nervous speaking in front of large audiences. I'm going to give you a solution to that today. So I pull the snippet of the conversation, never anything embarrassing, but I pull the snippet of the conversation to weave in instantly real stories of real conversations with real people in the audience. And it makes every speech sound fresh. It doesn't sound canned. It couldn't possibly have been written six months ago because I'm referencing somebody right here today who I just talked to and they're hearing their name. And I'm looking at them. And that's what makes it interesting to them. Is it the most brilliant thing in the world? No. But when I'm talking about them, it's fascinating to them. And it allows me to talk about the basic concepts I wanted to talk about anyway. It just does it in a fresher way. Then and only then, after that, do I weave in aspects of myself, my own biography, thank people, all the other stuff. So that's my advice. Just start off by saying something interesting and useful to the audience. Give them value right away. Do that and they'll sit up. They'll pay attention. They'll want to learn more from you. Do that. You'll be off to a great start. I'm TJ Walker. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like more regular updates in a video format, text format, 
other formats, then please follow me on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash TJ Walker Interactive and hit like or follow.